do you really want AI to identify where you breathe, eat, sleep, your political views, all that? And they're like, whoa, that's not what I want. I just want to catch bad guys. The success of AI is the success of data. Good data in, good data out. Junk in, junk out. It's no different from any other system. My research is directly related to trying to find ways where we can capture all of this data to improve and enhance performance, right? But my colleagues at the laboratory are always asking, you know, where's the protection? If you can use it for good, you can use it for evil. We want to use AI to say, what is the best treatment for this specific patient? You draw the wrong correlations, people's lives are impacted. And artificial intelligence is just as prone to bias as any other intelligence. Put the privacy and the legal folks at the forefront and what you tell them is these are my requirements where do you see the privacy implications where do you see the problems with conflicting statutes with conflicting regulations amongst risks and opportunities and rewards and fears and threats it is inevitability there's not a single federal agency and probably not a single federal program that could not benefit today today from some minor application of it. Every step we take and one agency takes, it is opening up a whole world of improved services and cost savings for agencies. All right. Hello, welcome to CXO Tech Forum on AI and big data in government. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. My name is Michael Hoffman. I'm the president of Government CIO Media and Research. We're so happy you joined us this morning. Uh, what a beautiful morning we got with the sunrise. Uh, it's just, it's gorgeous. And what we're doing, we're really excited for the agenda and the speakers that we have today. So Government CIO Media and Research is an online destination for thought, leadership, and coverage within the space of advancing technologies and, ma and uh, management landscape. So our team is out here today. Hopefully you got a chance to meet them as, uh, during the breakfast part and got to talk a little bit with them. Uh, it's been a really good time uh, getting to know a lot of the folks here from like Army Futures Command. We have folks from CMS, healthcare.gov. What a great collection of government folks in, within this AI space. AI is such an exciting topic right now. It's something that everybody is talking about, everybody's wondering about, wanting to learn about. So what we tried to do is really put together a group of speakers that come from all spaces, Army Research Lab, HHS, Johns Hopkins, Cloudera, Worldwide Technology, all these different spaces where there really is a real leadership. Lumina Analytics, another one, um, that, are, that are really the thought leaders in this space and can really teach government and really help government really take advantage of this advan advancing technology. So first, before we move on to the uh, program, I really wanted to thank our sponsors. Uh, without doing this, anybody that's done these events before knows that you can't really do these events, especially at such great venues like this, without our sponsors. So I wanted to thank Lumina Analytics, Worldwide Technology, Intel, Cloudera, MicroStrategy, Qualtrics, and Penguin C Computing. Everybody, all, all of those sponsors really had a really important part uh, in making this morning happen. So, I, can we, yeah, round of applause. Thank you very much. So without further ado, I want to really bring forward our first session. Uh, we have a, a packed lineup today, so I want to get them up here. Uh, we know your time is valuable, so let me, uh, so what we wanted to do when we were putting together this uh, group of speakers is, again, we wanted to have the thought leaders, the experts in this area. And when you ask anybody within the Defense Department or the Pentagon, which you can see right, right over yonder here, uh, everyone brings up the name Dr. Alexander Cott. They say, hey, he's Mr. AI. He's the one you needed to get on the stage and talk about what is going on within artificial intelligence. And he's really working on the investments in terms of research for the Army Research Laboratory. So what we want to do is um, invite him, as well as Molly Kane, who is the former Director of Ventures and Innovation with Department of Homeland Security. And what we're really excited to announce this morning is, should we do it to Molly, should we, or should we wait? We could do it, we could do it. All right, so Molly will be our next uh, host of our podcast on government CIO media. We're really excited to have her do it, and we're, we're hoping everybody got a chance to see some of our other podcasts, such as Cybercast and GovCast, and we're really excited to have her as the next one. So let me introduce Molly, as well as uh, Dr. Cott, onto the stage, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> 